So my name's Kath Nixon, I'm a health visitor. I work in Oldham for Pennine Care. Um, and that entails um, working around um, early intervention, prevention and health promotion. Um, so I work with families with children under five and we work with families back from the antenatal period through to when the child goes to school. So I went to Nepal with um, VSO, um, which is an organisation that sends um, skilled professionals over to developing country to help to share skills and, um, and capacity build with local organisations. Um, so I was based with a women's organisation there in, in a place called Dialect in the midwest of Nepal. Um, working around women's health rights. So I was at an event um, where somebody told me that um, they, were, they were sending NHS staff over to Sierra Leone. Um, if, I, if I was interested in putting my name down and volunteering um, and so I went away and thought about it and thought that actually yes if I, had, if I was able to help I really wanted to. Prior to going to Sierra Leone we'd had training, quite intensive training, which prepared us very well um, for the situation. But I think nothing really can prepare you for what it actually feels like when you arrive in the country. Um, I just remember arriving and it feeling very real. Um, the risk of Ebola feeling very real. You, you arrive in country and, and the first thing you, you do is wash your hands in, in chlor chlorinated water and have your chem temperature checked before entering the airport. You, know, you really felt like you, what you were doing there was very important. And that we have a job to be done and um, and that helped deal with some of the difficult times there was obviously very difficult times and I think like that it was you were, we were seeing what you know on a daily basis were quite upsetting things to, to see um, and I think like I, th I think being a part of such an amazing team really helped with that um, I mean I think in, in the time we were there we were seeing like a decrease in mortality rates and I think um, I remember one day when we had more um, more discharges than deaths and it was times like that like tangible things that you could actually see the improvements that were being made um, and that really helped with our work and it helped with morale um, that, that we really did feel like we were having an impact and just in improving basic things that we could actually it could make a massive difference to mortality rates and we were able to see people walk out of the door as survivors. So, mm.